hi, we're still here. It's still Poet the Poet. I'm still Robert Dunn. It's still the Cafe Incognito. And what's a cafe with a lot of music, without a little music here and there? And we've got Bob Perfetto and his magic guitar. He came to New York in 1983 to pursue a career in computer programming, but now we switch to guitar programming. Also banjo, bass guitar, pedal steel guitar, and harmonica. I can't wait to see how you strum a harmonica, Bob. But uh, I didn't bring my harmonica today. Anyway, uh, I want to get right right into letting the guitar do the talking. All right. Because let's have a little music. Hey, this is a little uh, composition I wrote when I was in college back in Rhode Island. Ah. And uh, it goes like this. <laughs> Snappy. Can you use a lyricist? Well, that's just a country blues guitar solo. It's not really, uh, there are no words. Well, no that's, words why, that's, that. that's why you need a lyricist, but with picking like that, who needs words? Anyway, how did you get started in guitar? How did I get started? Did it happen in Rhode Island? or? Uh... <clears throat> well, when I was just a boy, maybe about 10 years old, mm -hmm. The kid who lived across the street had a guitar, yeah. and he showed me, and he was strumming some Beatles songs, and mm -hmm. I thought, wow, look how easy it is to make music on that thing. All you have to do is put yeah. your fingers down and, uh, <laughs> and, and strum. Did, and did you swipe the guitar? No, but I bought a guitar just like it after. Uh, ah, I see. My father bought me a guitar. Mm -hmm. And then you learned to play this next song. <laughs> well, this song I learned uh, also while while I was in college. I mm -hmm. uh, was involved with classical guitar for uh -huh. for a while. Mm -hmm. This is a song written by uh, Johann Sebastian Bach. Yes, one of history's premier songwriters, as I recall. <laughs> quite, a, quite a tunesmith. Ah, yes. Uh, and this is called the Beret. Mm. I hope I can play it. <laughs> Thank you. 
had dedicated uh, his pieces to uh, a number of interesting things like coffee and whatnot, but this is the first one that I've heard dedicated to a hat, and I wish I'd worn my beret. <laughs> Just uh, mine? <laughs> well, that's not quite a beret, but uh, I'll settle. We'll swap hats later. Uh, let's see. You've done I didn't bring my beret either. <laughs> ah. And, but you have done a number of club dates, as I understand it. Yes. Um, you played in uh, Dan Lynch's Downtime and Terra Blues. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Did you play a lot of blues at Terra Blues? I played the blues at Terra Blues on an uh, electric guitar mm -hmm. with, uh, mm -hmm. with other blues men. Okay. And you also do a, uh, uh, a duo, as I understand, with our own Lee Harrison, who's on the soundboard tonight. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us about that. Well, Lee and I uh, have been playing together for a pretty good number of years, and um, we started out trying to keep a band together, but mm -hmm. that became very difficult because mm -hmm. um, you know how it is to keep rock and roll bands together or country uh -huh. bands. So we finally decided that we had more fun just playing as a duo, and we mm -hmm. wouldn't have to worry about drummers or bass players. Mm -hmm. or, what have you. And I've seen you work, and with all the instruments you play, you're one of the few two-person quartets that I've run into <laughs> since then, and I want to get uh, yet another song in. Okay. Because I love those flashing fingers. This is a tune I wrote uh, after I moved to New York. It's uh -huh. called the 14th Street Shuffle. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you've been shuffled about as many times as I have on 14th Street. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have anything a little further uptown? Anything further uptown? A 23rd Street shuffle, maybe? Well, I do have another song that I uh, mm -hmm. have been uh, working on recently. Okay. And um, the working title is uh, Steve's Ragtime. But don't uh, ask me why. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll get Steve on the show one day and ask him. <laughs> here, here we go. Mm -hmm. As I understand it, you have an eight-track uh, recording studio. It's 
It's good to know that 8-track is still alive and well in some places. Mm -hmm. And uh, you produce demo tapes uh, for people such as, such as James and his giant peach and Very well known. Other, other fun groups. And you've got a tape of your own there. Is that uh, self-produced? This is a tape, yes, this is a tape Hold it up. Yes. produced okay. in my studio uh, of mm -hmm. my duet with Lee Harrison. Uh -huh. And uh, we'll be taking this out and selling it at our uh, gigs. We have a gig coming up this Saturday, in fact, in, uh, uh -huh. in uh, Long Island. At yes. uh, the, uh, I can't remember the name of the club, but we had a, we had a, we have it was Crescent City. Crescent City. Uh, we had Cafe. a great time there. You got to remember the time lag between the taping and the, uh, and the showing, <laughs> no, all that. Um, can you give us a sample of a, of a quick finger exercise, about uh, about thirty seconds worth? <laughs> a finger exercise. Well, how do you how do you keep those fingers in in limbo, that limber there? Or, I was about to say limbo. I don't know why. But <laughs> no, there are a lot of things uh, guitarists do. I play scales. Mm -hmm. And I play little uh, chord things. Okay. Uh, everybody take notes on that, uh, Bob Perfetta. <laughs> okay, okay. We, we, don't, don't make everybody feel self-conscious now. Uh, I know Warner's going to run back to Israel now and pick up a guitar. <laughs> and, uh, I like it, I like it. And uh, I'll do the same thing in Far Rockaway. So, Bob Perfetto, thanks for coming on to Poet the Poet. And uh, thank, thank you, you Orna. Thank you, Orna Rav Han, for coming on. And now I get to slip a little something of my own on and really... Uh, Drive people. <laughs> yeah, same to you, fella. That's, uh, that's how we go. This is Mary Muffin, an old girlfriend of mine. And Mary Muffin's only enthused about her friends who keep her confused. She'll only grant her amorous blessings to slicksters who manage to keep her guessing. She ultimately tightened the matrimonial boats, bolts on the clerk who sequestered her lab results. Well, that's Mary, you know. It's, uh, I, I'm not responsible for these people. Uh, once again, let me, uh, let me thank Orna, Orna and Bob, and uh, the Cafe Incognito here, and Burke and Tanya and Morris and Jasmine and uh, Aladdin and his genie and whatnot. And uh, one more little piece. Uh, salutatorian. As a thing of shreds and patches, I shake a paper cup at commuters. One more quarter. And I can graduate to a tin cup with pencils. That makes me feel good, and I hope that makes you feel good. And again, this is Poet the Poet, and I'm Robert Dunn, and I appreciate your watching, and uh, come back again real soon, because we will.